<laughs> All right, students, that is the bell. So if we could, Leo, you need to take your seat. Thanks, buddy. All right, so if you could take your seats, that would be great, students. Um, let's see, did anyone have any current events over the weekend? Anybody, anything noteworthy or interesting that, that needs to be talked about? Mariah. Mr. Mandela died. That is true. Nelson Mandela, um, he passed away this, this last week. That was, uh, that was something definitely big and noteworthy in the news that we should uh, take note of. Um, great African president over there for a while. So yeah, that was definitely something noteworthy. Thank you for that. Leo, we really need to be taking our seats and sitting down, buddy. Thank you. Okay. Um, well, I guess I have one that was interesting from the NFL. As you all know, it snowed Sunday a lot all over the country. And one thing that happened in the NFL, the, the record was broken for the single most, or for the most touchdowns scored in a single day of NFL get games. So of all the games in the NFL, this, this single day, there was the most touchdowns scored ever in one day in NFL games. So that was, a, that was a kind of an interesting record to break. There was a lot of snow, and so it made it harder for defenses to tackle. It gives the offense a definite advantage. So anyways, if you're interested in football at all, just passing that along. And thank you, Mariah, for mentioning Nelson Mandela. That was a, a sad occurrence, but, um, but yeah. So we, we're going to move along into our lesson now. So students, if you would be able to take out your textbooks and turn to page 168, that would be great. Again, Leo. Please take your seat. Good job, buddy. Callie's sitting so nicely. Um, and yeah, if you turn to 168 in your textbooks, we're going to be starting there. As you can see, it's on the War for Independence. And so we are going to be moving into the American government, its formation. And so throughout the next uh, few weeks, we're going to be looking at that. We're going to be diving into some material. Um, George Washington, Ben Franklin, some of the founding fathers going to have some fun projects for you guys to do. So yeah, it'll be a, it'll be a fun couple weeks. Um, but today, I wanted us to start out by you guys. I have that section from 168 to 173. I want you to take that, and I want you to get into groups. We're going to say into groups of three. So Leo, Callie, Mariah, you're going to be one group. And what I want you guys to do is to come up with a few things, and you're going to write an article. So, you're going to be living back in when the War for Independence happened. We gained our independence in what year, Ryan? Good, 1776. So, we, we're going to be, I'm going to ask you guys to get in groups of three, and then what you're going to do in this lesson is you are going to be giving me a news article like you lived back in the War for Independence. What I want you to focus on is give me a report on what happened on the war. I want to know the major battles. I want to know um, if there was a turning point in the war, what that battle was. I want to know uh, just about the, I want to obviously know about Washington and how he helped us in the War for Independence. And then tell me some important facts like when they signed the treaty at the end. Um, I need to know those facts. So, if you guys could get into your groups of three now, that would be good. And we are going to dive right into, I'm going to give you the next 20 minutes to come up with your news article. It doesn't have to be that long, just like I said, give me those major facts and important dates and get going on those. So I will let you start that now. All right, and thank you for those articles, ladies and gentlemen. You, that was definitely, I saw some good effort there. I, I like the facts. Thanks for giving me those. Um, really interesting. Uh, you guys used a lot of good adjectives. I was really pleased with that. This is history class. Your English teacher should be proud. Um, so, yeah, that was, that was great. Now, with the last few minutes of class, I have the sketch, and I know a lot of you mentioned in your articles about the crossing of the Delaware, how that was definitely an important battle. And I just have a sketch. Um, it's Lincoln going across in his boat. 
I'm sure you guys have seen this. It's a very famous sketch. There's icebergs in the water. It's foggy, and they're crossing the Delaware um, to go over there. And so I have a little sketch for you guys. Um, just to finish up the last few minutes of class, I'm going to pass it out. And um, all you need to do, color it. You can talk quietly amongst yourselves as you color. But I will be walking around the room, and I want you guys to keep the noise down and just enjoy coloring this last little bit. And if you finish them before the end of class, that's great. If you don't, you can take them home and try and finish them later, bring them back tomorrow. Okay. Leah?